Hi friends, today I thought I would just do a little get ready with me, um, chit chat, life update, whatever I want to like chat about. These videos are actually harder to edit <laughs> just because I had to kind of cut out all the dead space but I just wanted to like, I don't have really a lot of time this afternoon starting in like an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes. I don't have a lot of time to like bring you guys along. Um, I have therapy for Ashley and then I have to rush from that to get Abby at the high school because she has her driver's ed here at home. And then Keely has PT, which she can take herself to. And then I have to take Ashley to cheer. And then I have to go to an activity for church. So there's not a lot of that that I would bring you guys along with. It's kind of boring. But anywho, that I would give you a little update on how things are going here. I kind of chat every day with you guys, but you know, Ashley is doing really, really good this week. We have had um, a lot of good interactions between the two of us, talking about anxiety, talking about how to deal with it, upcoming things that might make her anxious to even think about. Um, she's doing really good and responding to the therapy that I'm giving her via her therapist. Um, so it's going well. And Chelsea is just Chelsea. She's doing good with school. And Abby is doing great with school. She went back to school today. She was home sick yesterday, just a cold. Um, she's doing really good. We have her follow up um, consults starting for her jaw surgery next month in a few weeks which is kind of exciting and nerve-wracking and weird and you know you start talking about the process of surgery with your child in advance and it's just a strange conversation. Haley had her exit interview at school yesterday which I didn't even understand what that was. <laughs> we didn't have that growing up but she said it went well. She's applying to other schools uh, really wants to go to the one she did get into already. She's just kind of testing the ground. So Jason is trying to work on, or at least I hope he's trying to work on getting her some scholarships, Pell Grants, grants, um, a way to pay for school. <laughs> and that will help her out as well. Um, luckily her last semester in school starts, well, when it starts, it's a really easy semester. She purposely like, made really easy classes including not having one class either at the beginning of the day or the end of the day and I'm not sure how she's getting to school and back or if she's just gonna forego the whole pay for parking pass scenario maybe the seniors just kind of get more free reign in those last few months of school I'm trying to disinfect my watch it just gets sweaty I'm gonna wear a different one tonight for my activity but I just wanted to kind of wash off all the sweat and germs so anyway that's the update about the kids Jason is doing good at work he's having to go into work early and stay late when he can when I don't need him here at home or like last night I needed his car because I was having to travel a whole ton to get kids to and from all their activities um, but he is working on year-end taxes and accounting he has to finish all the accounting work um, in order to close out all the books. He does it all himself. Like he doesn't have an accountant. He doesn't have a bookkeeper. He doesn't have a secretary. <laughs> he literally does all that himself. And we would really love to have a tax return on time this year. It's been a couple years since we've been able to have a tax return on time um, or even get a tax return. So he's hoping to get all that paperwork done kind of ahead of time this year and um, get it to our accountant. We have to mail it to her. She moved out of state, but um, anyway, so he's just busy at work. Uh, January starts up with like not busy, but like people start to work out and wanting to, you know, get in shape. And even our cute little 60, 70, 80 year old customers, well, I gotta get out and walk with my husband, so I need to get some new tennis shoes. And so we help him out, and so it starts to be a little bit busier in January, February, which is a good thing. 
December is our lowest month of the year. That's always a little depressing. Um, speaking of depressing, <laughs> Jason was talking about um, trying to be careful and mindful of starting to get depressed as we go into January. We're usually kind of okay in November, December because you have all the holidays and there's stuff to do and you're busy so you don't really get time. I don't, we don't get time to get depressed. I know other people do, but we have enough family and activities and friends and things to do that occupy our time. Um, so we're kind of fine. He's like, we just need to be careful and get our vitamin D. Um, make sure we're kind of checking in with each other and how we're feeling and, uh, and that kind of stuff. And I, at, when he called me this morning to talk about it, I wasn't feeling that great. I wasn't feeling that motivated. And, and I told him and he's like, all right we do and I was like book a trip to Hawaii <laughs> but the good thing is is that both of us recognize that is what helps us not only the actual event of traveling and going to Hawaii and getting the sunshine and being outside and oh I just think about it but um but also the anticipation of it the planning of it we already have some ideas and places that we want to go and things that we want to do and funny things that I'm going to surprise some of the kids and Jason with that they have no idea about that we're working on behind the scenes. I'm not even going to tell you guys until I can. I will tell you guys ahead of time because you know I schedule my videos ahead of time. So you will find out during like the packing videos um, because they'll already know about it. They'll already be in Hawaii and they'll already find out about it. So anyway, let me go and get this wet and I'll be right back. Okay, try and get you moved around just a smidge, change of scenery as I get ready here. Um, anyway, back to the conversation about Hawaii. Um, so we have all these ideas and things that we wanna do. Um, kind of the biggest thing is that Jacob is coming with us, Kaylee's boyfriend. And yes, they'll still be together in a couple months. <laughs> They've been together for two years now. We're coming up on two years. I think they're going out this Friday because I think they're coming up on their two year anniversary. They're, they're going on a little actual date. They don't actually do that very often. <laughs> they just do real life, grocery shopping, uh, going to get Taco Bell, that kind of thing. So it's kind of like we've kind of committed to doing it and it's her senior trip of sorts. She really didn't want to do one by her, like with just us. And so we kind of said, this is kind of your senior trip by letting Jason, Jacob come with us. We've never done that before. I did not grow up having friends come along. Eight kids. <laughs> no, you don't get to have a friend come along. There's not room in the car and there's no budget for a friend to come. So he's coming. Sorry about that. My desk was full and I literally was editing and I was like, oh, I've literally gotten all the footage off of this. I should just format it. And I didn't. And then it filled up. So I had to get a new disc. Which reminds me, I should probably get another disc that's a little bit bigger. Wow, wow, that sunshine. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Hawaii, you, all, you guys all know how much I love it, how much we wanna go, how much we dedicate our extra money, savings, all that kind of stuff to being able to go. That being said, we have earned, and I'm just being very transparent here, as always, I have earned, we have earned at least two tickets for free on our Hawaiian cards that we got last year. So we only have to pay for four plane tickets because Jacob is paying for his own plane ticket. And then we have enough point, or we, we had enough point based on old rate. If we had gotten the price that we have paid every single time for any resort on any island, if we had, if we had that rate to choose from, which we do and I'll discuss that in a second. If we had that rate to choose from for where we want to go, we wouldn't have an issue right now. We would have 100% of the hotel cost covered because we have American Express points. And I'll discuss this all in an actual Hawaii video. But it's just on my mind outside of like regular mom life, parenting, husband, wife, relationship, you know, whatever. Outside of all of that, this is what consumes my mind because I cannot find, well, I, I I can't find where we wanna go. I can't find a room that I can afford. Despite the fact that we have so many points to pay for the resort, I quite literally cannot afford to go at our current budget. So I was looking and I was like, okay, if we were to spend some money outside of those plane tickets, because we would have to buy four plane tickets and we already have to drive to Portland, 
I don't understand why Seattle is not a hub for Hawaiian Airlines anymore. It's just not. And they, not joking, triple the rate fly out of Seattle versus Portland. Portland is three and a half hours away. And Portland is not an international airport. So I'm really not understanding why. Anyway, I digress. But it's so frustrating because I could literally have paid for the whole thing and I could have booked it and it would be so fun to start planning it and thinking of all the excursions that we want to do we want to I could start all of that kind of process and you had to book that kind of stuff out in advance because of you know wonderful COVID and needing to have reservations ahead of time on camera I look really really red right here and right here that is not my makeup it is my pigmentation of my skin flaring through the camera it is not actual <laughs> It's just frustrating because we always go with the intent that now we, we have this whole method of um, earning points and only going when we ha can really like utilize those points to cover, you know, a good 80% of the trip, right? That's how we can afford to go. But it's not the case this year because Hawaii has increased their rates three times what they were even a year ago. And I have checked every island. I've even like, okay, fine. Maybe we can't go to Maui, which is where I wanna go. And the only island I want to go from here on out in my whole life. I love that island with everything that's in me. <laughs> but every island, every place that we've ever stayed at, even like places that we haven't stayed at, I'm like, okay, maybe we'll save money and go stay there. Not only is it more expensive to fly to any other island, Kauai, Oahu, I'm not going to the big island ever again, but it's more expensive to fly there. And all of the hotels that I would normally like maybe try if we haven't done them before, they're all too expensive. They're all just as much as they would be on Maui. And so we're stuck. We're kind of stuck in this process of trying to plan it knowing we need to go. One, we promised Kaylee and her boyfriend that we're going to go and I do not like backing down on that kind of an offer. Like that's just not fair to either of them. This is her senior year. It's us, you know, giving that to her and it wouldn't be fair to kind of not do it. So we're now had to talk about the cost adding an actual cost to it. Well, I have saved up money. I have saved up quite a bit of money. I wanted to use that for fun excursions, zip lining, a dinner cruise for Jason and I, and let Haley and Jacob babysit everyone. Like I wanted to go and have fun because we know how to do the island now. So we're just kind of having to rethink everything. So we have not booked it. People have asked us when we're gonna surprise you with another trip. I I don't know. We can't go in February. Jacob has family obligations. He can't go in February for midwinter break. It's really honestly too soon. It's too close around the corner for us to go then. So I'm in a predicament. So I was talking to Jason the other day and I was like, okay, we really shrink our expectations and we stay at a place that maybe we wouldn't have wanted to stay at in order to save money. And even those ones out of cost, they're so expensive. They're so expensive. And he was like, if the ones we don't want to stay at are also expensive, and the ones we do want to stay at, the resorts that we would want to stay at, are only like, say, $1,000 more, let's go ahead and spend $1,000 more and go and stay where we want to stay. It's not worth not enjoying our time there. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but I am seeing that Hawaiian Air is starting to put their flights on sale. They were on sale leading up to our midwinter break, which I was like, well, that's fantastic. Why don't you have a sale during my break? And then yesterday I got an email that they extended their sale for flights into March. And I was like, all right, all right. You're seeing that people aren't booking your high rates. Let's bring the rates down and see if people will book them. So I'm hoping that moves into April so that I can save money on the airfare because I could reverse everything. It's just logistics, you guys. We can go into it in another separate Hawaii video. Jason and I both know just our normal moody blues going into, you know, the rest of this winter. It's a sunny, beautiful day today, so it's hard to like talk about moody blues on a day like today. I'm gonna try and get out here for like an hour and I'm gonna just go sit in a park with my drink and I'm just gonna read my book and watch TikTok and be outside in the sun even though it's freezing cold, just to enjoy the sunshine because we know we need it. And we're taking vitamin D. Um, seasonal depression is real. And that's why people on the East Coast go to the Bahamas and the people in the Midwest and the, and the South go to Mexico and why we go to Hawaii. If there was somewhere cheaper to go, we would go there. Jason, Jason will not go to Mexico. That is a non-negotiable for him. He's even like looked at how cheap it is to go there and he's like, nope, I'm willing to spend the money on Hawaii for now because Mexico is 
not where he wants to take his family. It's not where I want to go either. We like to get out and adventure and I don't feel safe doing that in Mexico. And that maybe is just really biased for us to have that mentality. We have plenty of friends and family who go to Mexico. Um, my sister and her new husband are like ticked at us that we won't wanna, don't want to go to Mexico and um, and Cabo and they just got back from Costa Rica and they're like, go to Costa Rica with us. And, we're, and we, while we know Costa Rica is probably a little bit better, we don't want to go there. <laughs> For picky people. I mean, I would go to Fiji or Tahiti or Morea or Bali. I would go to any of those places if I could. I just can't afford those places. So anyway, you know how to save money staying at the Hunawakai. Y'all know that's our favorite place in the whole world. Let me know. And also I have to book it with American Express points and there's none available up below our, well, within our price range. <sighs> What do I have left in my eyes? Are they actually good? I did it in the viewfinder <laughs> instead of the mirror. So I don't know if it's actually good. Let's see if I can do this in the viewfinder here. Put a little highlight in there. I'm trying to think what other things. You guys, I love your comment. I just love taking the time to sit down and read them and respond to them. Now my battery is flashing. <laughs> I can't win. I probably jabbered too much anyway. All right. so. I appreciate your comment. I appreciate the interaction. I really, truly do feel like I have friends. I, I, I constantly think about like, oh, I wonder what um, Nicole thinks about the Seahawks winning because she lives here in Washington and she loves the Seahawks. And I think about Michelle and, and all that you have going on with your family. And I wish that they had, you know, good news with their health and our busy lives. And I think about you guys. And I know that you're dedicating your time to watch these videos and be a part of our life. And I just appreciate that. Um, and like, it really does mean a lot to us and Jason feels the same way and and looks forward to like responding back to you guys um okay we're just I'm gonna take you on our day unless this is too long um but my battery is literally flashing and I don't want to go back downstairs and come back up so we're gonna set my face really quick and get going standing underneath the lights look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see I gotta get on. How you doing? Good. Having a good day? Yeah. Alright. All right. Are you gonna come with me to go get Abby? Or do you wanna stay here? Where? I have to go in like a half hour. Why? Because she has to get home from driver's ed. But you can stay here. I'll be right back. You can choose. Okay. Okay. Looks like I knew what happened. <laughs> I didn't. Did you get yes, I'm getting you socks. I didn't film for the past couple hours. Hang on. I knew I wouldn't. I've been editing. This whole time since I got home from taking Abby or getting Abby home from um, the school. I've been busy little bee on the computer and uh, having lunch, whatever. All right, I'm gonna sign off with you guys because I'm going to my activity. Oh, I was gonna grab some games to take with me. It'll be kind of fun. I think they're gonna have games there for us. We're just having a, a game night at church to kind of get to know everyone and have a good time. So I'm gonna take these three games. Um, I don't think we talked about this, but after our game night on Saturday, oh crud, is so fun. We've only played four or five rounds, if you know the game, but we've only played four of the six rounds and each round is different and each round takes about a half hour, 45 minutes. It's so fun and so competitive and it's perfect for our group. Are you coming, Boo? I'm gonna Anyway, super fun. I think I could probably explain the first round quickly tonight if we're gonna play this. Um, but 
otherwise I'll just use the games that they might have. Um, oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Here, can you hold these? This girl won't let go of my phone. She's these had it. Okay, okay, go get in the car. I gotta get my water bottle. You need socks. Um, Jason is going to head home right now from work, but he's just gonna get a burger on his way home and then go and meet Ashley at her cheer. Ash, can you open the door for me? And just wait for her to be able to come home because there's no point in coming home and then going back out. So I'm gonna drop her off, head out, and that's my night. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys. Thanks for coming along my the portion of my day, as always. And take care and see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.